Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Charles Tulip, and it's been a long time since I've streamed last, but I wanted to um, get back into it today. So we're playing Animal Crossing New Horizons, and I thought today we would design a restaurant um, for this little island over here. So here I am at the island. Nico says, let's show today who's boss. <laughs> Oh, he came up with some DIY recipes. Okay. Okay, we're going over to the school. So I was able to design the school and the cafe already, and I wanted to do the restaurant next. Okay, let's see what uh, Nico's gonna teach us. <laughs> Pillars and island counters. Okay. Oh, interesting. I actually haven't seen these in uh, any of the videos I've watched. I, so I just downloaded Happy Home Paradise. I um, I never had it before, um, but it went on sale. So I decided to finally go ahead and download it. And I haven't actually seen these partition walls at all. Um, I haven't seen them in anyone else's build. I haven't seen them in videos. I haven't seen them anywhere. So that's interesting. Or maybe I have, and I just uh, didn't notice. <laughs> so unlike the partition wall, it's short. You can divide a room, but keep it feeling a little more open. That's really cool. Oh, and they come in two heights. Okay, nice. Oh, time for a pop quiz. <laughs> uh, what can you make when you connect a pillar to partition walls? Uh, <laughs> um, a right angled wall, a spacious room, or stairs. I guess you can make any of them. I'm going to say a right angled wall. Okay. <laughs> okay. This one I was paying attention there too. <laughs> Two different heights. <laughs> I love Wardell. <laughs> he doesn't say much, but he's so cute. Okay, now we get the recipes. Also, I didn't notice how Nico is actually sitting on a box behind the podium over there because he's so short. That's a really cute detail. Okay, let's check what those recipes are really quick. Um... Okay, so for the tall wooden island counter, it's all three types of wood. The same for the low one and for the wooden pillar. Okay. Okay, let's go talk to Lottie about uh, designing that restaurant. Let's see what Wardell has to say. Hello. <laughs> oh, wow. Look at this. There's some skis. I'm going to buy those, actually. Um, there we go. Okay, I'll get those. And I already have this TV, so I don't think I need to buy that. Okay. 
So let's talk about facilities. Let's make a restaurant. Um, yes. Sorry, my headphones are kind of sliding off. Okay, let's head over there. I just want to see if this light is better. Yeah, I think that's a Okay. Um, we should design the exterior. Okay, let's do it. So, I, mm, I kind of want to tone it down a little bit. I don't want this bright pink and yellow. So, maybe I actually like this dark brown roof. And we could go with the dark brown siding. That looks pretty nice together. Or the brown siding looks good too. And what about the beige one? Um, let's try that with some different roofs. And I actually think I like this one. It's a little bit red. It looks nice. Yeah, and I think it looks best with the dark brown roof too. Okay, and then what about for the door? We could just match the siding. We could go with this green door. That's pretty cute. We could... Hmm. Yeah, I like the green door. And then maybe we should make the awning match the door a little bit. Um, let's just try all these. Yeah, I think that one's the best. Okay, and I may go back and redesign this after I do the inside. We'll just have to see. <laughs> Uh, yeah, let's go inside. Okay, so I haven't done a facility with two rooms in it yet. So this should be fun. Okay. Oh. Um. Okay, can we make this room a little bit bigger? When I make the room this square, it's a little dark around the corners. When I put it to the 10, the whole room's actually lit up. That's a little strange. Um, I think I like this size, though. And we could have windows in here. And, yeah, I don't want to mess with the lighting. Um... I just want the normal lights. Okay. Okay, so let's see what is required. And and you can now use any DIY items you've crafted at least once. And you can now find pillars and island counters under the other category. Okay, so we need a cash register, we need tables, and we need chairs. Hmm. Okay, let's, um, I like, I, let's, uh, let's pick out a wallpaper first. That's how I usually start these. Okay, there's a lot of food. <laughs> um, here we go. 
Oh, why is that so dark? Okay. So this wallpaper doesn't have windows. Um, oh, this one does. I, I did use this. I have used this blue molded panel wallpaper already in one of the villagers' houses. I do kind of like this. And let's actually, let's, can we put this as an accent wall, just the wood with the brick on the other three sides? Or would it be better to put the wooden one on the sides and use the brick as an accent? Oh, this one's interesting too. This one is called the retro restaurant wall. I kind of like that actually. Oh, there's a lot more wallpapers here. Okay. Ooh, that looks nice. I like that. Okay. Yeah, with the, uh, the brick as the accent wall and the windows over here, I think that looks really nice. Let's pick out a floor next. Okay, so we could go with that. That's pretty snazzy. Great. I think I, li I do like this dark wood flooring. And then there's not very many rugs in here. Okay, I just wanted to see all the clothing that was here at the end. Here we go. Okay, now let's pick out some tables. And I think I like these chairs, actually. Okay. Um, I do like, I do like these tables, too, with the the, the tablecloth on them. Oh. We could use this table to make kind of a little reception area. And let's get rid of these chairs. Okay, let's see the colors for this table here. Um, yeah, let's go with the brown. And let's pick out a couch that will go with that table too. I think the couches were up here. Um, maybe this one. Oh, it didn't fit, okay. Oh, that's just changing the color of the feet. Okay, we can have brown feet. And what color should the couch be? Let's choose a fun pattern. Um, that is kind of interesting. I want to see what that looks like, actually. <laughs> okay, that's very busy. I don't know if we'll go with that. Oops. Oh man. Okay. Uh Yeah, I'm still getting used to the controls on this uh on this whole part of the game. Okay, we could go with a nice hound's tooth. This uh plaid is kind of nice. It's really dark, but it kind of works. 
Maybe we should have a lamp in this corner too. Let's see if there's any lamps in here. Okay, I don't think it's gonna be after the food. Um, maybe it is actually. Okay, here's the ceiling lights. We'll worry about those in a second after we get the table layout done. Okay. So maybe there's no lights in here. So let's go over to housewares and find the lights that we already have there. Okay, so I do kind of like this folding lamp. And also this one is just called floor lamp. Yeah, that looks pretty nice. Okay, so let's uh, just move this a uh, half tile so we can fit the lamp over in that corner. And let's choose a color for this lamp as well. Um. Should we go with brown or black? Let's see the lampshades. So we could put a pattern on the lampshade or we could go with one of these, blue, orange, or green, or yellow. Um, let's try the green one. And the green might look better with a brown band. You know what? I think I want black and blue. Maybe, we'll come back to that. Oh, I can't even choose a pattern for these chairs. Hmm, okay, I guess we'll go with the white. Um, yeah, I, I don't know if I like that. Should we pick a different chair? Okay, I'm going back to the lamp. <laughs> okay, let's just, uh, let's pick a pattern for this lamp. Um, that's interesting. Maybe one of these, actually. Let's try this one. Yeah, that looks pretty nice. Let's see what else we have. Zebra. <laughs> um. I don't think I want polka dots or stripes. What is a good pattern for a lampshade? Okay, I've been through all of them. Um, yeah, let's just go with the one we had. It looks pretty good. Okay, and then maybe let's pick a layout for these tables. So we can definitely have one um, back there. What if we kind of just space them out evenly like this? Um, so this is, hold on a second. This has to go all the way over here to make room for the chair and a space in between. So we'd really only be able to fit three or four tables.
And I want to leave the front part open as kind of the reception. So that's not very many tables. Should we actually make the room bigger? Let's see if we can fit. Because I want all the tables to have four chairs around them, I guess. And I don't even like these green chairs. Hold on. What other... Is there... There's like a blue, but that looks like a... Doesn't really look like a restaurant chair. Could... You know what? Let's just make it with a... A half tile in between. And then that one over there. And we could probably fit a I don't want this to be too close to the couch, really. Well, what if we switch the lamp and the couch? That way we can have a little more space for our tables. Okay, so I guess we can fit six tables in here. The chairs are really taking up a lot of space. And let's let's just get rid of all the chairs because I want to pick out different ones. Okay. So let's go back to the order category and um Imperial dining chair, and this one's the antique chair. Let's actually try this one. Okay, so not very many color options on this one either. Let's see what the natural wood looks like. Even this chair is kind of in the space of the couch. <laughs> um, I guess it's okay like that. But I am going to have to leave some space to walk around in here. Now that I changed all four chairs to natural, I think I like the brown one better. Just because it goes with the couch better and the wallpaper. And I'm not sure I like that table. Well, let's see what colors the table comes in because we might get more options there. Hmm. The floral print is pretty cute. Okay, and we can change this one. So let's make that brown, actually. And... Ooh, let's... I just want to see what this looks like. That's super cute. I almost want to have a centerpiece on 
all of the tables. And I think I'm going to leave this space open right here. Just so that there's some room to walk around in here. I'm going to flip this chair over to the other side. Oops. And we'll put a fourth chair on this one. And then we'll put four chairs on this one. And then I think over here we'll just mirror the other side. So this one will get three chairs. Oops, <laughs> I grabbed the chair that belonged right here. Okay. And then we'll get four chairs on this back table. So you can squeeze through here because there is that there's one space. And the same through here, you have to squeeze. So let's actually just get rid of one of those too. So that there's a space you can actually walk right here. And then I want to look for something to go in the middle of the tables, like a centerpiece. There's a carp on a cutting board. <laughs> that would not be a nice centerpiece. A uh, fancy water pitcher. Let's get that somewhere. I do like the look of this ramen. That looks pretty good too, the ice lemon tea. Oh, here we go. Look, there's a little candle. And let's see what colors the candle comes in. Um... The pink is pretty cute, but I think we'll just go with white. That's pretty traditional. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna get these on the tables. And then maybe we could put a ramen on this table. And Let's actually put the drink on this middle one. Okay, we still need the cash register. Touch screen cash register. Yeah, let's get that one. And um, we can put some of these on the wall. What else could we get? Yeah, let's pick out a lamp. Enamel lamp, simple shaded lamp, zen light, imperial lamp. Um, you know what? Let's try it with this imperial lamp. 
Let's get a few of those. And... Um... Hold on. I'm trying to move this. Yeah, so it's right above the table. And let's see what colors this one comes in. Pink, yellow, red, blue, white. Let's just see this one. Oh, that's that's way too bright. Okay, let's go back to that ivory color. And let's actually move these right there. And we'll go with the brown. Okay, so let's make like a little hostess stand waiter station as well. Oh, and before I forget, let's actually get two more lamps. Okay, there we go. And yeah, don't want to forget that. Okay, that looks really cute actually. I'm still not thrilled about this, the pattern on this lamp. <laughs> okay, let's, um, let's see about polka dots. I don't know. Striped. Maybe we could use this. No, I don't, I don't think so. I like that pattern a lot, but I don't think it makes sense. You know what? What other colors? Maybe if we just stick with the white lampshade. I don't know, though. Let's try the gray one. Okay, the gray is nice. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, we need to look for some more furniture. So, um, there should be like some, I don't know what I'm looking for exactly because, I mean, maybe this would work, but we need something for the hostess stand. Seems like there should be a piece of furniture for that. Oh, there's even large tables in here. That would have been fun to do, but this I had so much trouble even fitting five tables in here. Let's get one of those. Um, okay, here's all the kitchen stuff, but that's going in the back room, right? Yeah, let's look at the housewares. For some tables in here. I thought I had something that would work. I'm yeah, something like this. Reception counter or the counter table. There's also a checkout counter. Yeah, let's try these. So this can go. Um, I guess it should go kind of towards the front. Then how much space do we have there? That looks like enough to me. Okay, which side of this is the front and which is the back? <laughs> that one has the key on it, so I'm assuming that's where the money goes. And 
And let's see what colors this one comes in. Oh, let's go with the dark wood, I think. And then we have a name list, a to-do list, or a medical questionnaire. Yeah, let's go with the name list. And this, I just want to stick back here. And, ooh, let's see what the black looks like. That looks pretty snazzy, actually. And let's try the brown. It's too much the same. I like the black. Okay, and then um, let's actually put this table over here, too. And we'll go with the dark wood on that. And let's pick out a a tablecloth pattern. Well, maybe it should just be white. You know, but that's not an option. Okay. Yeah, I would like just a plain white tablecloth option. Let's try this one. Okay, that's pretty cute. And we'll get rid of that. And put the water pitcher over here. Let's raise those shelves up a little bit so they're not right behind the water pitcher. I think I want to just swap all of this. I want to put the table over here. Put this thing over here. Yeah. And then we'll move these shelves over to the other side. Okay, that's cute actually. Let's get another candle and put it on this table. Okay. And uh, what else can we do? I think, well, let's go back to the order category. Maybe there is some like living chairs for the reception area. Let's look in the housewares. My headphones. Hold on a second. <laughs> okay, sorry about that. Okay. Uh, yeah, I really don't have like a good just living chair. I mean, maybe this is kind of close, but. Well, maybe we could go with this. I just want something to go over here to face the couch. So let's see about patterns for this one. I really don't like the color options on the rattan furniture. Let's just see what the black one looks like. Yeah, that's fine. And then something needs to go back here. What would be behind the hostess stand? Maybe an extra chair. No, that's a little weird. <laughs> that's a little strange. <laughs> Let's not do that. Um, I'm just going to look for some kind of like... I don't know, something. It's 
stair dresser. Um, yeah, maybe this thing. I think that's probably the best thing we can get. Let's try this with the walnut. And then we need something to go on that too. Oh, a speaker. We don't have a speaker anywhere. We could put a speaker in there. Would that be in miscellaneous? Maybe a pie. A pie and a speaker, not so. Well, we'll see what it looks like. Upright speaker. I want. I kind of want the phonograph. <laughs> Let's try the antique radio. And actually, I'm going to stick the pie out here. Like it's for sale. I wish it had like a dish covering the pie. That would make it look nice. Okay, let's see if this comes in any colors. We'll just do black, I think. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. So I think we should move on and do the back room. Um, okay. I guess we just run back here ourselves. Yeah, let's see how hard it actually is to walk through here. That's all good. That's fine. Okay, I did pretty good, I think. <laughs> Whoa. Kitchen. Okay. The <laughs> wallpaper is pretty depressing in here. And the lighting is so green. Let's go with the brighter lighting. Okay. Kitchen prep spaces. Oh, okay. Um... Yeah, let's see what we need back here. And actually, I'm just going to take a little break, you guys. I will be right back to finish up this kitchen. See you in a minute.
Okay, guys, I am back. So let's get into designing this kitchen. And let's start with the wallpaper and flooring again. Okay, why is the, <laughs> the ocean horizon wall in here? It seems like an odd choice. And an airplane wall? Whoa, that's fancy. Was that an option in the, in the dining hall? <laughs> It must have been, right? I guess these are all... They were all in both. I do kind of like the tile. Maybe if we use the concrete with the tile as an accent. And uh, we could go with the concrete flooring. Oh, what is restaurant kitchen flooring? That's pretty good, actually. I do like the... I do like the... way that looks. A blue kitchen mat. Or a green kitchen mat. Or a green exquisite rug. You know what? Maybe we could put that exquisite rug over in the dining hall. Okay, so should it go under the tables or should it go like right at the entrance here? Or maybe even right under there? But there's nothing else green in here. Okay, sorry. I think that was a silly idea. I'm just going to go back to the kitchen. <laughs> okay, and let's get into the ordered furniture. So... Let's get a sink. Or let's get this big one. Yeah. And. Ooh, a kitchen dishwasher. The utility sink. Let's get that. Kitchen counter. And we need a fridge. And a freezer. And let's, well, I would like to put a garbage can outside. Uh, I guess we can't do that. Cooking tools, that will be good. This floor sign, that's super cute. Stacked fish containers, yes. Microwave. Ooh, the deep fryer. The deep fryer is noisy. Hold on. Okay, I turned it off. Oh, it's going back in. I don't know if you guys can hear the deep fryer or not. I'm going to have to get rid of it. It's just... It's just too much. I can't stand that noise. Okay. Let's get a big pot in a pan. Steamer basket set. Um, dish drying rack. That's cute. Dinnerware. I don't know if we need both of those. <laughs> okay, before I get too much more stuff in here, let's <laughs> try to figure out a layout <laughs> here. Okay. So I think the fridge can go back here. 
And I would kind of like the stove to be in the middle. So. Um, hold on a second. This one, we don't need that one. Maybe we can fit the, let's move this over a little bit and maybe we can fit this in here. Well, you know, let's actually put this on the other side of the room. Somewhere over there. And then maybe we can get this back here with the microwave. And I think I want the this cookware set to go on here. Can we put food in here? Yes. Okay, I just figured out that these food, these uh, cookware can be customized to have food in them and I never knew that before but I I changed the frying pan in my own house too to have a, a pizza or something in it so yeah let's do the fried rice <laughs> and then this pan can probably go on there yeah ooh veggie saute Okay, maybe we, oh, this has to go on the floor. Hmm. You know what? Let's try to put both of these on the stove. Now let's, let's keep it over here. What am I doing? <laughs> Okay, <laughs> so let's get this down here, probably. And I think we're going to need another one of these. Oh, there's stuff in the back. Oh, look at that. Huh. Uh, hold on. Let's... I want it facing that way, so it can go back there. And then let's get this utility sink to go right there. <clears throat> A lot of this stuff doesn't come in another color. I know the microwave does. Maybe we should go with black. It's just bothering me a little bit because the silvers are different on this counter and the sink and the dish thing. The dishwasher. Let's move this to the center. Uh, we can put that back there. Okay, so we have two spaces. Okay, yeah, that's the center. And then I want to put, well, I want to put this dish rack here. Uh, which way? Yeah, probably like that. And then let's, oh, let's put the fish over in this corner. And then we'll stick the freezer on this side. Maybe the fish should actually go next to the freezer. And let's see what other colors the fish come in. Um, I kind of like the light blue. 
and we can put a little logo on it. Let's actually get one more of these. And we'll make it like this is like the counter where they pick stuff up from. So let's put some food on that counter. Let's also get this range hood. We'll put that over the stove. And where is the food? There's a small stack of fish too. <laughs> I didn't see that. Okay, let's pick out some food that can be sent out. Like maybe this ketchup fried rice. Fried rice. Yeah, because there's fried rice in the pot, so it would make sense if there's fried rice on the plate. <laughs> I guess. Um, <laughs> let's go with it. Okay, and let's just move this range hood. This should be there. Or maybe we should have two of those. Uh, yeah, that actually looks pretty good. Okay, so we have fried rice right there, and fried rice right there, and this uh, wet floor sign is just going to have to go right there. Okay, so that was a lot faster than the dining hall. That did not take as long, but I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. I think that's cute. <laughs> Let's talk to Lottie. And I just want to, I totally forgot what the exterior looks um, like. So let's it. take another look at that. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's cute, actually. Okay. So let's tell her we're done. I'm finished. So let's decide who will be working here. Okay, I... <laughs> okay. <laughs> I've only done, I think, less than 15 villagers houses. So let's see who can be the chef. And I kind of want this guy to be the chef. And then I think we can also change his outfit. Yeah. I want him to wear, I think this one, that's super cute on him. Yeah, we'll make brown and green kind of the colors of this restaurant since that was also, oh, we could also change his hat. Hold on a second. The outside of the restaurant was also brown and green, so let's just make that the colors. Ooh, he can wear a... Oh, the little green hat. Yeah, let's do that. Or let's just try this on. Okay, that wasn't looking quite how I expected it to on him. I think it's because his ears are in the way. Um, what is this? Ah. Huh. 
The brown one actually looks better, the plain brown. It makes him look more like a dishwasher, maybe. I think he needs the chef hat, since he is the chef. Okay, let's do that. Apprentice. Okay, let's... Um, we could go with Plucky. That's pretty good, actually. Yeah, let's let's do it. And then let's change her outfit. So, should we pick the same color? Uh... There are so many choices in here. Okay, well, this is the fast food uniform. I think that looks cuter on her. Her uh, neck feathers are just kind of covering up the scarf. So let's do that, the brown one. And then I think we could try the brown chef hat. Oh, that's cute on her. Yes, that's very cute. Okay, let's go with that one. And then the cashier. I don't think I want Eunice. Who could, Who else could we get? Hmm. So I already assigned Lobo, Deidre, and Stu to the cafe and the school. What is it? Um, the employee means like the waitress, right? I want Julia. Who should be the cashier? I'm kind of stumped on this one. Maybe Rosie for the cashier? Or Ali? I might come back and change these later. After I, <laughs> after I do more homes for more villagers. Because I'm not totally happy. This. You know what? I think I want... I'm just going to flip-flop those two. I want Julia to be the cashier and Eloise to be the employee. Okay, and let's change the cashier's outfit. So that's an apron. That's the chef's outfit. Cashier. Ooh, the striped vest. I wish there was a brown one here. Up you know. Um. Ooh, that's kind of cute, actually. That's really cute. Paper restaurant cap. She doesn't need a hat, no. I mean, the hostess, at most restaurants, most restaurants I go to, the hostess usually just wears black. I think I like the one I picked out. Oh. And then that is a pretty good outfit for Eloise. Let's see what other options she has. Cafe. That's that's actually really cute. I like that. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I'm not going to give it a name. I am not giving it names.
Oh, wow. <laughs> they just ran into each other. <laughs> Okay, that video is so sweet. Okay, so even though this is two rooms, we can only take one photo. They're not going to talk to me right now. Photo taking mode. I definitely want to get a picture. Oh. So, um. Okay, there we go. Okay, that was a good picture. I like it. Let's see that picture again. Okay. Bye. Uh, let's take that photo right here and go outside. Oh, it's going to be dark out there. Okay, it's not too bad, actually. When I did the cafe, it was so late at night. It was completely dark in the photo. <laughs> Um, I'm saying some words. Move it up. Okay. Looks like everyone's eyes are open. <laughs> That's good. It's perfect. That was so cute. Okay, we completed a wonderful restaurant. Um, I'll work a little longer. Let's go see what the islanders out here want for their vacation homes. And maybe we can go visit the restaurant and talk to the people in there. I think her name is Bertha. I 
filled with all sorts of warm, cozy baskets. Cute. I want a place to host VIP parties with sweets. I need a place where I can run on leave. Oh, I... Yeah, her name is Bertha. I used to have Bertha on my island, so that's funny seeing her here. Out and dry, a wide open... Wait. I would enjoy a wide open space, perhaps my own ranch. Cute. Their cow. I think a vacation at the lighthouse would be fun. I desire a space where I can focus in and meditate. Okay. Um, let's see what's in the message bottle. You found it. You found it. I did a DIY and got the stuff wrong, so I made this on accident. And I tell you, I'm all accident today. Okay. <laughs> um,. Got a DIY recipe. Blowing moss ruins wall. Awesome. And let's see what that looks like. That is very cute. But it needs a ruins wall. I don't think I have that one. Okay. Um... Here is the cafe I did. Let's go in here. Oh, they can. Oh. Oh. I did not know that the people in that cafe could also want vacation homes. And Olaf right here is one of my island villagers. So that is really funny to see him here. I did not know whether the, your villagers that were on your island could come here or not. What does he want, though? I'd like to sleep under a top-tier view of the night sky. Eunice I did already. I need a new lab to conduct my secret research. Oh, my. <laughs> Yeah. So this is the cafe. I I love how this came out actually. I think it's Yeah. And then let's go find out where the restaurant is. I think it right back here. <laughs> oh. Okay, and here is Snooty. Snooty used to be on my island as well. Oh. Able to make fabulous cloth using a loom. And this alligator I did in her house. I can't see what the tiger wants. That color. Oh, like baseball bats? <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow. Okay, let's go back to the kitchen. Yes, this <laughs> He's making some tomato juice. Whoa, he's gonna teach me the recipe. Okay, good thing we came back here.
Okay, uh, yeah, let's learn that recipe. Hey, sweet. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, it's a cup of tomato juice. <laughs> Okay, I just want to go see who's on the north side of the island, on that beach up there, and then I think um, that will be the end of the screen after we go visit with those people. Yeah, so let's see who's back here. Rosie? Okay, what is she gonna give me? A rug. Simple entrance map. Okay. Uh, guy's name is Coach. Uh, just here to chat. Okay. <laughs> okay, I guess that's it. Yep, I think I'm gonna go have some dinner. And, um, hopefully I will be streaming again on Monday. So that is when I plan to stream again. And thanks so much for watching. Thank you if you made it to the end here. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!